Okay. Um, so I wanted to talk a little bit about what the other Sadie shared in her doc. Um, she quoted President Eyring, um and said that he said that repentance needs, uh, leads to purity and purity leads to power. And that's what I saw in my mission a lot. Um, just seeing everyone change their lives, whether they were already members since they were born or if they were you know, members like that found the church a lot later. Um, I saw so many people come closer to Christ, and I know that making covenants with God helps us have power. And I've seen it in my life too that as we repent and as we use the atonement in our lives, we're able to access more power from Jesus Christ. And I just love my Savior, and I'm so grateful for him and all that he did for us. Um, I wanted to share an experience um, about a family that we kind of taught. They were all members, um, but they were kind of inactive at the time, and um, they had been going through some family problems. But um, we started teaching just the dad. Um, mom lived right next door so we could teach them together and um, he was super into rugby like super tough guy like loved to do things other than go to church <laughs> um, so it was kind of hard at first like we thought okay this guy doesn't want to hear us at all <laughs> um, but we kept going and I remember one time we were at their house and um, Earlier that day, I had been with my companion, and she showed me this video. Um, and when she showed me the video, I just immediately thought of him and his family. And we were going to be on exchange that day, so I wasn't even going to be there. But I was like, Aramana, like you have to share this video with him and his family. And so they did. Um, and you know, he's just watching the video, and he just starts bawling. <laughs> um, he just starts crying. And even though like the video wasn't exactly what was going on in his life, I knew that the Spirit spoke to him and he knew what he had to do. Um, and it was just so cool to see him change his life and bless his family's life by going back to church. I know that anyone can grow closer to Christ, whether You've been a member for forever, and um, you know you have certain callings, whether you're Blue Side president or the chorister. It doesn't matter. Everyone can improve their relationship with Christ, and everyone can draw closer to Him as we repent every day and we use His atonement. I know that the Lord loves you guys, and. Um, just like Sister Carrick said in her talk as well, um, we have a built-in Bessie and a built-in big brother, um, and he knows the way, so he can lead and guide us. And I wanted to share that in the name of Jesus Christ, amen. Um. returned home from serving in the Oregon Salem Mission like last Saturday so it's only been a little bit but serving the mission wasn't always in the plans for me <coughs> sorry because I wanted to follow my own path that I created for myself um, after humbling myself though I decided to pray to know if serving a mission was the path I should take I received my answer one Sunday as I walked into the Relief Society room and written on the the board in the huge letters was, Love is thou me more than these. And that got me to ponder um, where I stood with Jesus Christ and what um, I could do to strengthen my relationship with him. I realized in that moment that I needed to let go of all the worldly things I was holding on to and follow the path the Lord had laid out for me. Of course, I had fears and I was scared of taking that leap of faith, but I was reassured multiple times. Um, 
that it would all be okay, and the Lord would be right by my side. And one of my favorite scriptures is 1 Nephi 3, 7. <clears throat> and it reads, And it came to pass that I, Nephi, said unto my father, I will go and do the things which the Lord hath commanded. For I know that the Lord giveth no commandments unto the children of men, say he shall prepare a way for them, that they may accomplish the thing which he hath commanded them. Since coming back from a mission, I have seen this promise come to pass. I am a witness that God answers prayers, and he will keep every promise he makes to us as long as we do our part. In Doctrine and Covenants 82.10, it reads, I, the Lord, am bound when you do what I say, but when you do not what I say, ye have no promise. I didn't necessarily know the reasoning at the time for why the Lord wanted me to serve, um, but I do know why I stayed. My mission has changed me for the better. I'm so grateful for the opportunity to serve. I originally came out because I loved Jesus Christ, but I stayed out because I wanted people to know that Jesus Christ loves them and that God has a plan that benefits each of us individually. Some days are harder than others for sure, but the joy I have received from serving those like Christ would is what trumps, trumps it all. I've been able to read my scriptures daily and learn more about who Christ truly is. I've gained a testimony that the Book of Mormon is true. I know that God has provided us another witness of Jesus Christ to prove to us that he is the same yesterday, today, and forever, and to give us a living document to help guide and direct us in making life decisions. I've been able to look back on my mission and see the growth I have made. I know that this church is true, because if it wasn't, I wouldn't be the person I am today. I wouldn't be changed. I wouldn't have desires to love and serve those around me. Because of Jesus Christ, everything is made possible. Sorry. I know that I've been forgiven, and I know that he loves me and is proud of me for being humble enough to turn to him for strength during my weakest times. Christ has lifted me in ways no one else can. He's been my rock, my savior, my brother, and my physician. I know that because Jesus Christ lives, he can be our friend. Because he lives, we can have a relationship with him. Because he lives, I can return to live with him again. Keep pushing forward no matter where you are in this life. Christ lives and loves you. When becoming more like the Savior, you can be made whole. I know this to be true because I have been made whole and I am genuinely happier and find true joy. I know that God knows and loves those who have fallen off the path just as much as those who haven't heard of the gospel. And I know he's been able to use me as a helping hand to reach some of those souls. I'm so grateful for the knowledge of the gospel of Jesus Christ. I know that I have a testimony that God can take me away from that. I love Heavenly Father and Jesus Christ. I know they live and I know they love me. I can't wait for the day that I get to see them again, but for now it's our job to keep persevering and doing the small things to keep us close to them on the straight and narrow path. I know that the Lord sees all of our efforts. I'd invite all of you who are thinking about serving a mission to go and all those who may not even consider it yet to consider it. Exercise your faith in Jesus Christ and take that leap of faith. It will be a huge blessing in your life, as well as those lives you will touch. Um, because I know that my life has been touched. And I say that in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen.